Hey, thanks for swinging by the channel to uh, check out my latest uh, beer review. So it's been a while since I've um, recorded a review, so I am actually uh, pretty happy, pretty excited to uh, jump back into the game here. Now this is going to be one I'm going to record and upload, and I don't know when the next one will follow, but you know I've been pretty, pretty good. I've been doing pretty good health-wise. I feel pretty good. Um, you know, weights coming together. Uh, some other health issues are are hopefully starting to get a little bit better. So um, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna reward myself with a, a little beer review with one that I've had. Um, and I've been looking uh, real, looking forward to this um, for quite a while, actually. I've been trying to get my hands on this. Was able to find it in some single cans and I sent uh, sent uh, Ridge one over at uh, Ridgeopolis, check out his channel, good dude. And this right here is what they are calling a strawberry Midwest fruit tart. They're calling it squeeze box and it's put out by Urban Artifact. I'm going to actually use the Urban Artifact glassware right here. I don't think I've got to use this yet. So it does have a little reading. It's 8.6% alcohol by volume. So it's got a little ass to it. And it says drink fresh this Midwest fruit tart has 12 strawberries and a speck of vanilla in each can. It also says squeeze boxes create sound by passing air across metal reeds via the central bellows. They come in a variety of types and shapes and have been used in many of the world's most traditions, sorry, music traditions, since the 19th century. So, pretty cool there, right? There you go, you get to see what it actually looks like there. So, like I said, I am, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty, pretty excited to be able to, um, to do a review again, you know? I mean, it's been, God, five, six weeks since I've had a beer. Um, so, for me, that's a long time since I've been reviewing for the last few years and putting out quite a bit of content. So, wow, I will give this a roll, because they use real fruit, um, in theirs, and I'll just give it a little bit of a roll, and hopefully we won't get any explosion or anything like that when we crack this open. So those of you guys that have commented, asked how I'm doing, checked in on me, hey, I appreciate that. It means a lot. And um, like I said, I'm gonna get this review in, and I don't know when I will, when I'll actually get around to doing another review, or when I'll get around to editing this and. Um, uploading this or anything so part of me was thinking this might be a little red but you know the more i look at it it very much does have kind of i don't know how it's coming across on camera um but it does very much have that very like strawberry juice you know like that the strawberry juice isn't like really red it's got that like off color to it and that's kind of what that looks like right there we got a nice uh just a fluffy just over a finger of head up on top of that. Just frothy looking. Just a frothy, creamy looking head. And I can already smell strawberries in the aroma here. So I'm gonna get a nose on it. Ooh, lots of strawberry. I'm gonna say, um, comes across very much like a, a bit of a cider or, um, you know, like a fresh strawberry cider, almost wine. Uh, aroma coming off on this but I'd say cider is probably the most um, the closest that I could relate it to so as typical the head's not going to stick around too much in these styles right here so I'm going to go ahead and get a drink on this see it's all about mm, it's very good So, medium body mouth bill. Um, crisp. I get that strawberry sweetness, that strawberry tartness to it. Also get a nice alcohol. I pick up the ABV. It's 8.6%. It's very much there on the end. Almost, a, a, it's a very dry, almost wine-like finish to this or cider-like finish to this. It's pretty good. You know, I was waiting a while to, to crack this open. Uh, I think they had it last year and I missed out on it. 
And I got a fresh one here. This is just over a month old, so uh, still very fresh. Uh, so you get that right up front. You get that tart, um, that urban artifact. They got these these fruit beers, these fruit L's, and you get that that tart fruitiness up front, like you do in all of them. A lot of strawberry as it passes through. Um, bit of a sweet strawberryness to it. Sour, tarty strawberryness to this. As it hits the back, it gets very dry on the finish, and it does have like a. a a definite alcohol kick to it not crazy alcohol you can tell there's a little bit of alcohol in this here scoring this it's actually good it's a nice drinker you can drink a lot of these at 8.6 percent um this could get out of control pretty quick and uh just due to my health reason i'm not going to be able to drink all of this here um so as far as scoring this thing 4.25 out of 5 all day long uh, it's fre it's um, refreshing, great summertime drink, especially when you want a little bit of a higher ABV. So anyhow, 4.25 out of 5. Hey, I appreciate you watching, uh, taking the time to uh, check out the video. And um, like always, um, you know, become a subscriber if you're not already. Uh, definitely like the video and drop a comment so we can talk a little bit. Outside of that, again, thanks for watching.